because we need a new, some new, uh, new income coming in. Because we don't have a lot of money at this point in time. Which is bad. Oh, there. God, those eight grand monthly costs are eating away at our budget. You have successfully researched a new topic. Detective. Excellent. Let's create a new custom engine. Ah! No, I'm just leaving that monitor off. Uh, okay. Um, oh yeah, no, I can't do that, can I? Because I don't have enough money. Um, develop a new game. We'll uh, do a detective one. And probably a an adventure one. That should work. 80k for a TES license. Hells to the no. I'm going back to the G64. Uh, we'll call this... Um, Cops of... Um, Gunnada. I don't know if that's how you spell Gunnada. Good God. How do you spell Gunnada? Fun fact, that's where Miranda Kerr's from. Um, gun... Uh, gu that's, oh, good God, I'm terrible at typing on my phone. Gunnada. Gunnada. Oh, oh, I am so good. That is exactly how you spell it. Cops of Gunnada. Nice. Alright, it's going to be a 2D graphics game. Because we don't need none of those text adventure stuff anymore. Hells to the no. I'm also going to stop saying that because it annoys even me. Alright, uh, we're going to need some good quests. Gameplay can go down, engine can go down a bit, and we can focus on the story, hopefully. I hope I got that right. I sincerely hope. We have more bugs than technology right now. That's not good. Let's crank the AI. Level design and dialogue can stay up. There we go. Very nice. Alrighty. Uh, oh god, the monthly costs. So expensive. Well design needs to crank. Sound level can go down. It's not really all that important. There's another five grand going for Dev Stage 3. Oh, I really need this game to do well. I really need this game to do well. Cops of Gunnada. I would not ever, ever play a game called Cops of Gunnada. Oh, it sounds awful. Right. Oh, yeah, of course one bug slips in there before we fucking launch the thing. It's going to come back to bite us on the ass later. All right, new topic, new combo. Get leveled up in everything, I hope. Please level me up in everything. Yeah. Excellent. That's good. Did the character level up as well? Oh, it did. Nice. We're now level two in everything. All right, new research. Game tutorials and mono sound. Oh, I love that mono sound. As long as it's not like mono the disease. Uh, the recently released TES home console by an inventor has proven to be a massive success. Sales numbers have exceeded ex expectations by far. Love the games that come with the TES and playing the controller is so much more than fun than on a keyboard. Uh, no, keyboard and mouse is always the best, but the controller's fun. Although the controller on that thing was god awful. I remember the uh, NES. It's so square and it just dug the corners dug into your hands and that was horrible. Alright, the first reviews of our newly released game, Cops of Gunnadar, came in. I, I don't even want to look. Yeah, that's that that's better than I was expecting to be wow, did I see a six there? Oh. Informed gamer always gets my hopes up, doesn't he? And game hero is a bitch as always. You asshole. Alright, adventure games work well on G sixty four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, let's do a uh, game report on that. There we go. Cost us forty six grand. I'd better bring in some decent cash. Oh, it did. That's 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 impressive. If only that 8K thing wasn't eating into our sort of budget all the time. That'd be fantastic. Um, our post-release analysis of Cops of Gunnadar is complete, and we got the following results. Detective and Adventure is a great combination. Story quests seem to be very important for this. Oh, platform genre match on G64 is great. Okay. Um, I really need to create a custom engine here. But it's so expensive. My god. Okay, let's wait. Let's wait, let's wait, let's wait. Can you stop doing that far out? Okay, um, I need more money, please. I need 40. I need 40. Give me 40. Yes! Over 10k units sold. This is an important milestone in the history of Set Fast Art. Okay, I need to develop a new game engine uh, with a linear story and a save game. There we are. What can we call our engine? It's got to have a cool name, like the Unreal Engine 4, or Frostbite, or something like that. Um, what about... Um, no, Shadow's kind of lame. What about Artisan? Artisan... Engine. No, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. 
The Paranormal Engine. Yes. Then we could have like Paranormal Engine 5. NVIDIA. The way it's meant to be played. Which is apparently what Ubisoft thinks because all games run on like ass on AMD. Unity would not run on my 280X. Like, I, I know it wouldn't run on anything, but it'd run especially ass on that. Alright, Cops of Gunadar is now off the market. It sold 11,000 units and generated 80 grand in sales. Wow. 11,000 people wanted to buy a game called Cops of Gunadar. Yeah, and we lost a fan. Your new game, Paranormal Engine, is now complete. Oh, your new game engine, Paranormal Engine, is now complete. Excellent. Can we please develop a new game? Um, uh, hopefully this improves um, our... Our, uh, our income, at least. Uh, what can we call this game? I'll uh, we'll go with another... Si Actually, no, we'll go with a spy one this time. Because I think we've used pretty much everything else. We're going to spy, action. Uh, we'll put it back on the G64. Use the paranormal engine. There we go. Oh, God. Please don't take all my money. Um, I know gameplay and engine are important. Story and quests, I don't believe, are... Um, are you kidding me? I just paid so much to research the engine. And now you're going to have to make me choose to put that in the engine as well. You asshat. Alright, I'm going to get rid of the linear story and just put the save game in there. Because we can't afford anything else. Industry report. Recent studies suggest the increasing variety of gaming devices also creates a market for more specialised games. Some platforms become more popular with younger gamers, while others cater for more mature groups. I know, I know, I know, I know. Thank you. New research. We can target audience. Fantastic. I will be sure not to use that until I need to. Um, oh, shit, nipples. If we get another monthly contribution, that's going to take us below the 50k thing and we're going to have to take money from the bank. Okay, uh, screw dialogue. Let's just make a rock-solid level and art artificial intelligence design. Because this is an action game, right? I mean, you don't need dialogue, as evidenced by Battlefield's campaign and every Call of Duty. So, I mean, come on. Uh, 2D graphics, basic sound. Oh, I hope this thing gets released and makes us money before we get money drawn out of our account. Sound is important. World design is important. Graphics are important. Crank this. We'll drop the sound a bit because we're already putting a bit more money into the basic sound. So, there we go. Oh, please get this game finished. Bank up. Mother! F Oh. Okay, it seems we'll give you 83 grand, which should move you out of the danger zone, but in return you have to commit to pay us 149 grand in a year's time. I can't promise that. I really can't, I really can't promise that. The following the massive success of the TES console. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, bailout is 83 grand. Get rid of the bugs, please. We really need some good money with this game. Really need some good money. Okay, cool. 16 and 15. That's good. That's very good, actually. New record, outstanding, and a 1.4, 1.5 times bonus for a new topic and a new combo. Awesome. Level design is way up. Graphics should be as well. Yep, it is. Sound is good. Alright, let's release this game. Let's make some moolah. Speaking of which, what have you guys been buying over the uh, over the Christmas period? Have you been spending all your money? I know I have. I've got almost none left. The first reviews of our newly released game came in. Fantastic. Oh, those look like some solid reviews. Yes! Yes, that's awesome. Eight. Very good. Love it. Come on, man. Come on. Don't be a douchebag. Very enjoy- Game Hero! You gave me an eight! Focus on artificial intelligence serve this game very well. Thank you, all games. That's good insight. Okay, please make me some serious cash. Oh, that is good. That's 12.5k sales in its first week. Oh, I'm so happy. Today, Venna has con confirmed recent rumors about a new gaming console and announced the Master V. The company claims that the Master V is technically superior to the massively successful TES by Ninvento and plans to release it in the coming months. Oh, that's good. So, the, uh, if you don't know what Vena is, they're meant to be Sega. I believe. I could be wrong there and everybody hates me, in which case I'm so sorry. Um, oh, look! 166k! That is so good. Okay. Um, uh, let's generate a game report and do some more research as well. Because I really, really really need to get some money coming in because we need to stay above that money threshold because the bank's going to take that cash back from us in a year's time. So, 
Yep, all right. Spy and action is a great combination. Graphics seem to be very important for this type. Platform genre match is good. I think it would have been better on the TES, but I don't want to spend 80 grand on the license for that just yet. If we have another hit game now, um, I'll, I'll, I'll see. We'll, 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 we'll see. Uh, let's go with mono sound. We'll research that. And I'll also research something else. Then we'll research. Then we'll build another game. And then after that, we will research a new engine, or make a new engine. And then, uh, yeah, that'll be good. Uh, we'll also put game tutorials in there. Should be good. All right. So you research that. We'll make another game. Game off the market. I didn't name it, did I? I didn't name it. That's our first hit game, and I didn't name it. <sighs> I hate myself. Alright, is now off the market. It sold 33,000 units and made 236 grand in sales. Jeez, that's only a quarter of a million sales. That's pretty good. It's pretty good indeed. Alright, so you research that. And then, yes, we've re successfully researched that. Let's uh, develop a new game. Um, let's go and call this... Uh, what topics do we have? Government. So let's do another cyberpunk game. We'll call this um, Neon. Why not? Uh, it's got to be action. I'm going to purchase a license for the uh, TES. I'm going to do that. And we're going to run it on the paranormal engine. I'm going to do that. This thing better do good because we are s so screwed if it doesn't do good. Alright, we need a linear story. Stories and quests can go up. Oh no, it's an action game, isn't it? We don't need that. Yeah, we don't need that. Alright. Okay, there we go. Nice. Alright, hopefully the Cyberpunk one does good. Hopefully it does very good because we need the money. I don't need dialogue. Yep, that's good. That's very, very good. Although I don't know if we need dialogue and everything for a Cyberpunk game. I really don't know. We'll crank the sound, because why not? Um. Alright. Industry news. The reason they released gaming console Master V by Vayner has stirred up the market worldwide. Industry experts say that the console is not very well marketed in North America, but that it will flourish in other parts of the world. I don't know what the name of that console is. I was never very familiar with Sega. That was before my time. The only Sega I remember was the Genesis, I believe. And we all know how that ended. Um, Alright, so that's... Can you get rid of the bug, please? There we go. Alright, let's do this. This needs to be good. This needs to be really, really good. Alright, 1.3 times com uh, 1.3 times bonus for a new combo. Uh, we're not doing really well on the dialogues and story quest front because we're making a lot of action games and they're not important. So, uh, hopefully this game's a hit also. We really need the cash. Please do well. I'm begging you to do well. The first reviews of our new rele newly released game, Neon, came in. Oh, please be good. Oh, that's promising. That's promising. That's very promising. Excellent. So happy. Come on, give us a seven. There we go. That's good. That's good. Come on, another eight. I'm not seeing any eights. A six. Game hero. I trusted you, man. Going back to an asshole again. All right. Never mind. That's good. We still got eight, seven, six, seven, which is pretty good. Those are good reviews. Sell those units. Yeah. There we go. Make the money. That's good second week sales as well. Poor, very poor third week sales. Fourth week sales. Poor again. Oh, no, it's alright. Fifth week sales. Uh -huh. Okay, we've got 186 grand. Um, I'm just going to do a bit of research. Um, a new topic, I guess. Racing. <gasps> I've never done that. I didn't research that last time. This is a reminder that we require you to pay back the 149 in Just take it from me now, man. I mean, I've got the money now. I'd prefer that you take the money from me now. To be honest, just, just take it. Uh, recent market data shows that the Gov some seems to be slowly losing market share against other PC manufacturers. And unofficial statement, yeah, I don't, I don't care. Um, can you finish researching that, please, like really quickly? Because I want money coming in. All right, you have successfully researched a new topic. Let's make that. Uh, develop a new game. Um, uh, stiletto. I don't know how to spell stiletto. Good God, am I an idiot? Like, I can spell anti-disestablishmentarianism, but I can't spell stiletto. Stiletto. Okay, I was right, good. 
I'm not an idiot. All right. Uh, stiletto. Oh, I didn't actually name it. Stiletto um, Corsa. If you are familiar with racing games, you know that. Uh, should be a simulation one because you want to simulate racing. Uh, will dev cost thirty grand? Okay, license cost eighty k for the Master V. Now we've already got the TES. We'll do that. Uh, we'll run it on the Paranormal Engine, two D graphics. That'll be great. And Jesus Christ, it is hot. It is so damn hot. All right, Neon is now off the market. It sold thirty four thousand units and generated nearly a quarter of a million in sales. That is good. I w oh, I don't know if story and quest is important in this. I'm gonna get. I think it, I mean a simulation game doesn't really need a story, does it? I'm gonna put it in there anyway. Uh, I'll, I'll leave that there. Oh god, I so hope. I so hope <laughs> this doesn't kill us. <laughs> All right, you are generating a lot of bugs right now. All right, dialogues. Uh. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know simulation games. All I know is that sound is important in Sims. Um, all right, well-designed graphics. Sound is important. Well-designed tends to be less important from memory. Oh god. All right, industry news. Today, the inventor was announced that they will introduce a portable gaming device called the GameLink, just like the GameCube. Uh, compared to PCs and other gaming consoles, the GameLink is underpowered, but given the lower cost and excellent portability, it might find a huge fault. It sure as hell did. The GameLink is said to hit shelves next month. People spend thousands of dollars on finding, like, vintage GameCubes online these days. It's ridiculous. Nostalgia, man. That's what it does to you. Alright. Can you get rid of that bug, please? Bank. The amount of 149. Shit. Didn't have as much money as I hoped. Alright. Finish. I love that. I so hope this game goes well, because we need money. We really, really do. Alright. Uh, story, quests, yada yada yada. Dialogues, yes. Level design, yes. Artificial intelligence, yes. I think we'll... Should we be able to research, um... Sequels yet? Because I'd really like to do a sequel to the other hit game that we had. Game review. The first reviews of our newly released game, Stiletto Corsa, came in. Oh, that does not look good. Five has its moments. I like the ten that it starts off with. That's promising. Six, racing and simulation is a great combination. Uh, come on, don't be a douchebag. You're not a douchebag, Game Hero. I can't even believe it. Usually you're such a douchebag. Star Games. I thought you were my friend. You have betrayed me. Oh, well, never mind. Well, at least we have Game Hero on our side now. Alright, so, um... Let's generate a game report of Stiletto Corsa. We should probably do that for Neon as well, because that's our best-selling. Uh... The new Black Home Game has been released. Great. Uh, I think we need to research casual games to have any sort of good benefit with that. A post-release analysis of Stiletto Corsa. Racing simulation go great together. Gameplay seems to be very important for this type. Sound seems to be very important for this type of game. Platform for the simulation and TES. Okay, so I sh we should have done it on the PC, I guess. Uh, we'll generate it. Actually, no, we won't generate a game report. We'll uh, do some research on... Oh, casual game. Boom. We can um get some cash. For wow, look at the second week sales for Stiletto Corsa. That's cray cray. And the fifth week sales. Keeping this inside the top 100. You have successfully researched casual games. Alright, let's develop a new game. Um, racing. Casual. And the gameling. Yes. Uh, we'll run it on the paranormal engine. And we will call it uh, Micro Stiletto Corsa. Next. 2D graphics. We are going to so run out of money. This better do really damn well. Um. Yes. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Ah. Um. I guess gameplay is going to be the most important thing. So I'll put a bit more towards that. I so hope this goes well because we are losing money. We're bleeding money. Dialogue's probably not important. Um. But I'll move it up a bit and drop the artificial intelligence. Because Flappy Bird was stupid, and that's a casual game. So, there you go. Alright, game off the market. Stiletto Corsa is now off the market. Earned 140 grand in sales. Yeah, not bad. We need better, though. Uh, well designed, sounds probably important, graphics probably important. We'll uh, leave everything fairly balanced. 
Oh, this name, this game needs to kill. I'm not even kidding, because we are so low on money. With a growing interest in video games, there is also a growing audience for video game magazines. These magazines offer a new great way for video game developers to market their upcoming games. Yes, I know we can do marketing. That's good. It's a good thing. We should have marketed this. I wish that came up earlier. Alright, can you get rid of the bugs? Not going to put anything else in. Yeah, more design. Excellent. Okay. Hopefully this goes well. 